Welcome to Wedding and Event Insider. I'm Elizabeth Sherry, Director of Special Events. Today, I have the pleasure to interview an inspiring planner and friender in the industry. I use the term friender as she is the creator of the single term merging together what our essence of our group is. Friends first, vendor second, ergo friender. She shares her take on word of mouth referrals and an inspiring twist on networking. At Wedding MBA a few years ago, other planner friends who are mine who are also my competition and we were sitting at a table with a planner from Oklahoma City. She's like, wait a minute. So you're fr- you're all friends and you're all planners, but you're and you're all competitors, but you're all here together. And we're like, yeah, she's like that that would ever happen in Oklahoma City. She has been an entrepreneur since 2013 and found her pathway to events industry in a quirky and unique way. I'm excited to introduce Dana Allison of Keyed Up Events. Well, I want to dive right in to hear more about you. So tell me how to tell me a little bit about you and then about how your company has come about and, and what you're up to these days. Sure. Yeah, I've, uh, you know, I'm, I'm from Minnesota, lived here in the Twin Cities all my life. And, um, you know, really kind of, about, I came about uh, this, this business in a little bit of a, in a different way than uh, probably most <laughs> most people, at least in the wedding planning side of it, uh, I feel like a lot of the wedding planners out there had a tendency to uh, plan their own wedding and they decided they loved it and wanted to do that. Whereas I was, uh, I've, I've not been married, but uh, I've been a guest at many weddings and I turned out I hated being a guest. I just, uh, <laughs> either the experience wasn't good or I didn't know that many people. So I always like to try to stay busy uh, being at a wedding. And so um, I found that I was I was a much better helper and like, how can I help you with your wedding or how can I help you plan or, or, you know, when my friends were getting married, I never quite made the bridesmaid cut off. And so I was you know, personal attendant a lot. So it kind of, it kind of came up that way uh, that I that I just really enjoyed uh, the, the, bus, the behind the scenes part of it. And, and, you know, when you mix that in with uh, back in 2013, when I had just finally decided to kind of start the business, I was working a full-time job and a part-time job, and I just finished uh, going back to school, and I was like, well, I got five extra hours a week. Why don't I just try this whole wedding planning business? And and there I went, and I did that, did it uh, not fully, you know, part on the side and whatnot for six, five, six years before I finally took the plunge and uh, head, headed into it full-time, which is strange for me I certainly never thought of myself as an entrepreneur but it's amazing like once you start you're like oh I could do this or this maybe I should now that this is my full-time business now maybe I'll start this other side business it, it sucks you in oh goodness Dana your motivation and your you know activation to these projects I think a lot of people are just apprehensive to even pull the plug on starting their own company or even think of their business name and you've dived right in. You're like, well, I guess what, amongst other things, I'll do this. I mean, kudos to you on that. Is there any one thing that helped you kind of pull the trigger and just like, you know, that it was it a moment or was it someone saying to you being like, you need to do this or did you just self-motivate? Um, it was quite a few things, you know, I, I, I had done, as I said, some, you know, some planning for some friends and I kind of finally listened to them They're telling me that I was good at it. Um, uh, you know, the, the I had gotten laid off from two different jobs and the economic downturn of what was it 2008 and so you know somewhere in the back of my mind kind of having the like well you know if I no nobody can lay me off from my job but me so probably a, a little bit of that and then just where I had been working at the time um, I had the opportunities working with a lot of talented people who could do designs and web and basically got my logo and my website designed for some Jimmy John's. So you really can't, uh, you really can't pass up uh, that opportunity when it comes along. So just a lot of things fell into place at the time for me to try it out. That's great. And now a word from our sponsor. I'm Elizabeth Sherry, your host, and I want to tell you about Jesse Wilkin and his venue at Northern Stacks Events. Northern Stacks Events in Fridley is the perfect spot for your industrial style wedding or unique corporate event. Located three minutes south of Interstate 694 off East River Road in Northern Stacks Industrial Park, this 3,100 square foot event space is nestled along the train tracks in the building shared with Forgotten Star Brewery. This space is fully customizable by you. There's enough space for approximately 150 for a seated dinner. For more information on Northern Stacks Events, please visit northernstacksevents.com. And now back to our show. 
during this time frame of starting your own company, is there anything that you look back on and, and maybe would wish would be differently or anything that you've learned from um, along this path? Um, you know, definitely, I did a little bit of networking and trying to reach out to some of the other people in the industry or other planners, but not not enough. I I should have done more. Definitely, definitely should have reached out to other planners more. I finally kind of started doing that more in about 20, 2016, 2017, like way too many years into my business, and it should have been. And um, and doing that really really helped my business. Um, not only networking, you know, with other planners, but just getting out into the into the industry more and and absolutely it's difficult to do when you're still kind of doing it on the side and just trying to do it on evenings or uh you know or weekends and, and on the weekends when you know if you're working a full-time job and the other people are free or are busy because they're working weddings it's uh it's hard to kind of navigate that but just finding ways to entrench myself into the you know the wedding and event industry here in the twin cities earlier, I would say, is something I would have done uh, sooner. Well, and I'm sure many people who are listening to this can relate, but the uh, finding a day off and being an entrepreneur, especially in the wedding industry, is kind of a rare thing. So take those moments when you can get, but yeah, I would agree that working is so important, that word of mouth referral, it's strong. So um, that's nice of you to say, and we didn't pay Dana to say that, so. <laughs> Right. <laughs> oh, goodness. And so one of the other things I wanted to ask you about is, is there anything in your career that you feel like you've been the most proud of as an achievement goes or, or something you look back and you're like, I, you know, I did that. And that's really special. So I didn't know if you had a highlight of your career at already such a young age. Uh, well, thank you for calling me young. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I don't know if it's a highlight, you know, I, because, because I didn't, really do such a great job reaching out to other planners um, in the cities. I've, I've really tried to kind of be that person to reach out to new planners or you know, welcome new planners into the fold. Um, really, really kind of created a community for us, uh, a little behind the scenes for us to, you know, the same problems that we're all having and issues and how to, how to deal with this situation or, hey, I need help with this or I, I'm, I'm booked to the state who, you know, who can I refer this person to? So really creating a, a really inclusive network um, and community of, of the planners here in the Twin Cities, uh, which, which based from what I understand from other markets, uh, just doesn't really maybe have much. I was at Wedding MBA a few years ago with other planner friends who are mine who are also my competition, and we were sitting at a table with a planner from Oklahoma City. She's like, wait a minute. So you're friend, you're all friends, and you're all planners, but you're and you're all competitors, but you're all here together. And we're like, yeah. And she's like, that that would ever happen in Oklahoma City. So I think uh, I think that that really kind of warms warms my heart to to know that I maybe helped create that uh, that better community here in the Twin Cities. That's really admirable of you to to do that effort because I think a lot of people do have that fear of competition versus being that friend in the industry that you can collaborate with. So I, I really appreciate that about you. You get that mantra that we really believe as an essence as TCWDP goes. So kudos to you. And now the fun part, Dana, but this all has been fun, <laughs> but this is the lightning round questions where we get to really show you your first pulse thoughts into these really brief questions. So if any client connects with you, maybe you guys can have a giggle about whatever your responses are here or any vendor um, that you connect with later. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, perfect. What is your favorite type of music? Uh, <laughs> <a> show tunes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I understand that. Okay, and then what is one thing you cannot live without? Chapstick. Ah, yeah. yeah, good one. Especially these dry Minnesota winters we're having. Uh, we're going to have coming oh, yeah. up here. All right. Yeah. And then what is one of your favorite beverages? It could be non-alcoholic or alcoholic. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit of a diet Dr. Pepper addict. I try to keep it to one day. Yeah, that's the best soda out there. So I, you know what, Dana, I'm already bonding with you. I can already feel this. Like a couple of these answers, I'm like, I didn't know this about you, Dana. Oh. And then what is your favorite food? 
Uh, you know, I could probably eat some form of Mexican food every day of the week. Like not every, not every meal, but like, you know, I could eat a breakfast burrito one day and I could eat a, you know, a, a taco bowl for lunch the next day. And I could definitely eat nachos for dinner the next day. And, uh, you know, so, some form or variation of Mexican food probably every day. And now I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then the last one, do you have a favorite quote or saying or mantra of any sort? Um, I do. I do. And I apologize because I'm going to, I'm going to butcher it a little bit. And it's a, it's a Maya Angelo quote, which is something along the lines of like, like do better, like do, do your best until you know better then do better. I love that. And you know what? I put you on the spot with that, but that's pretty impressive to actually recite at least the essence I'm getting from that quote, if not the actual thing. Well, uh, to, to be fair, it's, uh, it, it was uh, my, um, my, my Facebook cover uh, photo quote for quite a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Well, Dana, thank you so much for chatting with me today. Um, this was a really pleasant time and I'm glad I got to know you a little better. Yeah, yeah, no, this has been fun. It's, uh, it's always great talking with you and, and being part of the TCWEP community has been really, um, really great and special for me. Thank you to my special guest today, Dana Allison of Keyed Up Events. For more information about Dana and her company, please go to keedupevents.com. If you are interested in more content like this insider podcast, please subscribe to our newsletter at tcwep.com. Now let me sign off with Dana's favorite quote from Maya Angelou. If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. I'm Elizabeth Sherry. Thank you for listening to Wedding and Event Insider.